Hello everyone, welcome back to the Drupal Studios channel. Today we're going to be continuing on the Scratch RPG series. Um, so we haven't uploaded in a while, we've been getting our GCSEs done and now they're over so we're going to be continuing on uh, as before. So sorry if my mic sounds a bit different, I'm on a computer now so I should have a better mic. So today I'm going to be making a dev screen because I realized if we play this game here, let's see if I remember the controls. I do. Uh, hello here. E. Uh, if we get attacked by this little monster here, our health goes down all the way to the bottom. However, we can still move and we can still attack and still pop back into the um, in other lands. We can just still live. We have we're, we can live forever. That that's not meant to be like that. Oh no! Not the video. So first thing we want to do is create a new sprite. This should not be too bad. All we need is a black screen. It doesn't have to be black. It could be any color you want. However, since black is the color that symbolizes death, I am going to use it. Let's set its position to zero zero. Um, and let's rename it to death. Um, what should we call this? Death screen. Okay. Hello. Now that it's done, I'm going to add some text on here. Uh, let's make it white. And we're going to call it you died. Actually, let's make it red. Can we do that? We can. Died. And then I'm going to add some more text here. Pretty sure it's called star, isn't it? It's called go. Press go. Uh, question one doesn't matter. All right, so the first thing I want to do is go to when green flag clicked, and we want to make it so it is hidden. Because obviously, if we don't want, we, we don't want to, you know, play the game. So as soon as we click the go or the green flag, it to pop up and say we died even though we just started that does doesn't make much sense however so this very important head over to the main characters HP uh, find some space here when green flag clicked we don't actually need that let's optimize it nicely however we do want a message so as you can see here uh, play HP greater than zero uh, or it's equal to zero. Oh, it's less than sorry I can I could not tell the difference I want him to, I want it to wait a second before the character dies um, you don't need to do that however I am going to do that so we want to make a new message and we're gonna call it uh, main C death that's what we want Main C death. I accidentally cancelled that. There we go. Main C death. Okay. Okay. So main C death. We head back over to the death screen uh, sprite and drag in a when I receive main C death uh, block here in the events tab. And then we scroll down, uh, scroll up, sorry to the looks tab or just click looks either way works and click show in theory we could make it so everything like we could put this well, it's not this we could put that in every single sprite to make ev just disappear however that is not really what we want it to go to the first layer let's swap these back around so it should look like this that's what we want um, in the death screen uh, uh, and then we head over to the main character so this is okay so here this is the bit open a shot so we want this but for this so that's pretty 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 easy uh, so I'm just gonna Drag this out of the way, don't worry about that, and I'm going to duplicate this, drag this under here, clean it up, make it look nice. So instead of when green flag clicked, we want it to uh, 
disconnect that, go down to events, and when I receive MC death. Um, so this means that the character would go right to the back, which is the opposite, is the opposite of the death screen, which means they will go to the very front layer, which means nothing will be in front of it, um, everything will be behind it, and the main character definitely won't show up, and it will permanently lock the um, character in the singular position. So it should look like this, because obviously the shop won't be open. I mean, they could do it that way. However, that would, you know, slow the game down. This is probably the most optimized way of doing it. It's probably not, but it's more optimized than setting the shop open when the main character death message is received and then it will do this we don't want to do that so this will just look and look the character in place whenever you know you die uh simple simple times so now i'm gonna fix that glitch where if we, if we go over here uh i believe if we go back he is invisible the monster uh we want to reappear when he is back so uh okay so this bit here says that whenever the backdrop switches to the mine one it will show however this one here is obstructing it if you will so let's remove this because we don't need this we want it to go here uh this is gonna require some thinking I have an idea so we're gonna put it here right in here so basically this will control the monsters uh, AI and health which is understandable I mean obviously this controls the damage uh, from the player um, anyways move on so this will control the movement of the NPC and the health of the NPC. Okay, so what we want to do is set the variable when it when the backdrop switches to the mine one. Obviously, we want it to show again, but because we move this in here, it now no longer like restrains it to um when it switches to the mine, it no longer restrains it to constantly hide. But we could have kept it like we had it before however we're going to do it this way because i believe this way is like smoother it's more optimized uh, so we want to set the monsters one hp all the way up to 100 i'm pretty sure that is what it is naturally however i'm not too sure on that let's go ahead and test it play Let's go to the map, let's go sound, let's go into the cave, let's kill this little mug. Okay, it's disappeared. Now let's go back to the sandland, back to Minor Mac. The AI still works perfectly fine. However, it doesn't hide. Oh, it takes a while to hide. I think I know why. Because this way here is like, it has to wait for this, these two blocks to complete before it can do this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate these, remove that, stick that in there, and here we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Actually, instead of doing that, let me just duplicate that, put that in there, stick that in there. Lovely. So, what this does is basically the same thing as we had before however it will now no longer wait for these two blocks to complete because these two here should do it all by itself we shouldn't even need this i'm pretty sure no no let's keep that let's keep that because we need it to set to 100 and if we constantly have it showing then yeah obviously we don't want it yeah no, no. Yeah, okay, this is fine. This is lovely. So now I'm pretty sure that should be it. This little, like, little glitch here. So let's kill it. Oh, okay, still hasn't fixed it. I know why. Because my silly little brain hasn't done it. We're going to have to do it like this. Because now it runs into two separate things. And now this is 100% going to work. I know it will because my big brain... 
Okay, boom. See, perfect. So now if we leave the mine, go back, let it, then I'm going to let it kill us, right? So as you can see here, wait a second, and we die. And as you can see, you know, nothing's actually, like, happening here. But if we hide the screen, as you can see there, we cannot move. I'm clicking A and D, and we are not moving. So that just proves the, the dying screen and the uh, monster's AI and health works. So hallelujah. You know, we fixed, we fixed a really big glitch, in my opinion, which uh, was game breaking. Um, Invisible monsters. It works now. Um, we also made the death screen, which is a big, big factor for an RPG, because obviously no one's going to complete an RPG without dying at least once. But, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Um, uh, so, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on this video, and we will continue making scratch RPG videos until I am satisfied that it is perfection. I mean, not perfection, but it is pretty good, pretty darn good, to be to be honest. Um, uh, and also subscribe. Um, you know, it, it it's a it's a nice thing to do. Uh, it's free. Just click the red button down below, and um, see you in the next video. Goodbye.